Hello, welcome to this part of the series. In this series, we are going to focus on how we can filter data. For example, sometimes we don't want all the records to be returned all at once. We may be interested in only records following a particular criteria. For instance, we may need employees who are belonging to only a particular department or employees who are earning between a given salary range. In all those circumstances, we use the WHERE keyword in SQL. When we are limiting the PPD data, we use the WHERE keyword and we need to specify the condition. The WHERE clause comes immediately after the table name. Then we follow the WHERE clause with the condition. Only data matching a specific column is returned. If data doesn't match a specified condition, it won't be returned. For example, we could say, we need employees who are earning above 2000. If an employee doesn't earn above 2000, the record won't be returned. The WHERE clause is accompanied by operators. These operators are comparison operators, the logic operators, then are other operators, as we shall be looking at them. Let's see this in action. Let's get employees who are belonging to department 100. We are going to use the employees table. Let us first describe this table. We can see that we have the first name, last name, then the department ID could help us in knowing which department the person belongs to. If we stop it at this, all records will be returned. 107. But we are not interested in all these guys. We are interested in only employees who belong to department 100. To get the records we want, we need to use the WHERE keyword. It comes immediately after the table name. We specify the WHERE. Then we follow it with the condition. For our case, the condition is we need employees who belong to department 100. The column that could help us in knowing the department will be the department ID. So let's get the condition where the department ID. Then we bring in the operator. Remember we said we have a lot of operators. The comparison operator, this time it will be the equality operator where the department ID is 100. And we end the statement. So when you run this, we can see that we have only six records. And these are the people who belong to department 100. So you can see that the records that match this condition are the only ones that are returned. We could also be interested in knowing those employees who earn above 10,000. To do that, where the salary is greater than 10,000. So when we run, we could see that these are the employees that earn above 10,000. And they are 15 in number. They earn above 10,000. So this is how we can filter for records. We could also be interested in knowing those employees who earn lower than 15,000. To do that, you guessed it. We just change the operator from greater than to lower than. And we change the figure here. So these are the only people who earn, earn less than 3,000. We may be interested in knowing those employees whose first name is not Sarah. To do that, then we bring in the condition where the first name is not equal. This is the not equal operator. Is not equal to, since it is a string, we need to put it in single quote. It is only the column alias that use double quotes. The rest of the quoting will be in single quotes. So when you run this, we will see that all these employees, their first name is not Sarah. So that means there is only one person whose name is Sarah. We don't expect any person whose first name is Sarah. And when you scroll through the list, indeed you can't find Sarah. We may be interested in knowing those employees who are earning greater or equal to a given range. To do that, let's just modify the previous queries. Employees whose salary is greater or equal to 20,000. This means that we need employees who are earning 20,000 and above. And when we run this, it is only one person who earns 20,000 and above. Interested in knowing those employees who are earning 3,000 and below. So to do that, we can change this.
where salary is less or equal to 3,000. And you can see that there are 26 who are earning 3,000 and below. But if we decide to use the less than, it means that somebody who is getting 3,000 won't be returned. Somebody like Anthony Cabio won't be returned. When you run this, you can confirm that Cabio is not returned. We can still use the order by keyword. Is always the last one. So we can say order by three. Order by salary. Three, it is salary in the third position. We can also specify the order as descending. So when you run, we can see that records are well organized based on the salary from the highest earner to the lowest earner. We also have another operator called the any or sum. This operator compares a value to each value in the list. One thing to note about the any operator, it works with comparison operators. For example, we need to get employees whose salary is either 13,000, 10,000 or 9,000. To do that, we're going to say where salary is equal to any, which is 10,000. So you can see that we put the values we want to test for in the brackets and we separate each one of them with commas. We begin with where salary, this is the condition, is equal to any of any of the items in the list. So if a record, if an employee is earning 10,000 or 9,000 or 13,000, that record will be returned. So let's, let's run this and you see. We can see that we have only nine people who are earning either 9,000, 10,000, or 13,000. That is how the N operator works. It tests the value here in the salary with N of the values inside the bracket. And if the salary is not N of these, it won't be returned. We also have another operator called the ALL. This operator compares a value to every value in the list. With the ALL, it compares my salary with every item in the list. For example, we need to return those employees who are earning above 10,000, 9,000, and 13,000. Let's modify the previous query to save time. Where salary, we need those guys who are earning above. Where salary is above all, meaning I need a salary that is above everything in this list. Okay. So when we run, you can see that only five records have been returned. These are the guys whose salary is above all the items in the list. We also have what we call the logical operators. We have the logical AND, O, and NOT. Let's begin with the logical AND. A record will be returned if both conditions are true. For example, we need to know those employees who are earning above 17,000 and at the same time belong to department 100. So both these conditions have, be true, have to be true. An employee's salary should be above 17,000. At the same time, the department should be 100. When we run this, we can see that no record is there. That means that nobody in department 100 earns above 17,000. We may make a simple edit the salary should be above 15,000 and the department to be less than 100 so you can see these guys there are only three for the logical and both conditions have to be true for a record to be returned we also have the logical O. with the logical O, both conditions don't have to be true one of the conditions could be right but the other may be false so if one of them is true, a record will be returned. For example, let's modify our previous query. When you say that where salary is greater than 17,000 and the department is equal to 100, remember no record was returned. But when we change this to O, we have some records. Let's include the department ID to confirm this. 
you can see that Stephen King his salary is above 17,000 but the department ID is not 100 but the record has been returned because we use the O operator one of the conditions has to be right for a record to be returned so the salary was okay but the department was not so one of the conditions was right that is why Stephen King was returned when you look at Nancy the salary was lower than 17,000 but the department ID was 100 just like all other records their salary wasn't above 17,000 but the department ID was 100 so the difference between the logical O and the logical NOT logical O and the logical AND with the logical O one of the conditions should be right but with the logical AND both conditions should be right we also have the logical NOT it just reverses the results in brackets for example we may need to know employees whose salary is not 10,000. To do that, we could use this where not salary is equal to 10,000. What it does, the logical note, it reverses everything in the bracket. If this was true, the logical note makes it to be false so if the salary in bracket is equal to 10,000 with the note it will reverse this it will bring employees whose salary is not what is here so confirm this so the logical note it produces the same results with the not equal operator although if you want to showcase your skills with the use of with the use of the not operator this is how it works if it just reverses the results in bracket. Those are the logical operators we have the logical and, the logical on, and the logical not. We also have other operators like the in, not in. With the in, 